Hello everyone, welcome back. So a lot of you may be aware that shields are getting a rework in Operation Deep Freeze. It's not going to be available at the very beginning of the season. It's actually going to go on a special lab test server during the season. So it may release by the end of Operation Deep Freeze or maybe even Year 9 Season 1. We're not 100% sure about that yet. And we knew that they were reworking some of the mechanics, how it feels to be a shield operator, how you move. Instead of meleeing someone and they instantly die, they get knocked on the floor instead. I've been wanting that for years years by the way i've never thought it made sense that a shield operator can run up hit someone with a shield and instantly kill them a small little oryx dash or air jab effect obviously not to that extent but just knocking someone on the floor made so much more sense and i'm very happy that's coming i think that's still coming they said it was coming they might have changed their mind i think it's still coming but we have now received another teaser about the shield rework and more specifically the fact that it seems like more of our existing attackers they said operators i'm assuming they mean attackers because i can't imagine they're doing this to defense are going to be receiving a shield as a primary option now i'm gonna let this little bit play out just so you guys understand what i'm talking about and then we'll get back and talk about it hi i'm joshua mills and this is siege intels shields have the power fantasy to transform you into the bulwark of defense for your teammates throughout the round they can also help you take map control hold angles keep your opponent's attention all while opening up windows of opportunity for your teammates to make that perfect execution the current systems of our shield gameplay do not embody the player fantasy that we're trying to achieve. That's why we're reworking those systems and resetting the foundation of what it is to be a shield operator and who can be one. It is and has been a long process. We want to change their use, but without breaking the current state of the game. And this is why we've decided to move this feature to a later date. But you can help refine this change in a special test server next season. More information will be shared at the reveal panel. Tune in. So the big thing to take from this, in my opinion, is the whole what it means to be a shield operator and who can be a shield operator. Because honestly, since launch, the rules haven't really been clear. You've had Montagna, which makes sense. He is a shield operator. That is his primary gadget, is a fully extendable shield. Blitz is the same case. His primary gadget is his shield. You can't bring a different primary for either of these operators. So it seemed pretty simple. A shield operator, the shield has to be their primary gadget, and they can't bring anything else. But then they also release Fuse at launch alongside a primary shield option. The shield has nothing to do with its gadget, and you have the option not to even bring it. And ever since launch, Fuse has always been in this weird position where he's the only operator, I guess outside of old recruit, who had the option to bring a shield when it wasn't their primary gadget. Never really made sense. A lot of people don't even run a shield on Fuse. And if Fuse got this special treatment, why didn't other operators? Well, well, based on this latest teaser, it seems like they're going to be changing up a bit and other operators alongside Fuse are going to be getting the option of a primary ballistic shield. And of course, this shield would be like Fuse's one. It has no special ability. It is just a shield. Montagna and Blitz are still going to be in their own unique league of having special shields. Uh, Clash is going to be in that league as well, I guess. But I honestly really like the idea of this because depending on what operators you can give it to, this could work really well. Now, I'm not saying it should replace any of their primary weapons. I don't think it will replace any of their primary weapons, just like how Fuse has the option of the LMG and the AK, he also has the option of the shield. So adding this to a bunch of different attackers loadouts would be very interesting. And an operator that sort of comes to my mind is Thermite. I know I think it's Bikini Bodhi's been wanting that for a while. You can play a very passive role on Thermite, you breach the wall, you keep your shield out, you give intel to your team, and you maybe even go for a plan. If you don't want to play that role, that's fine. You can bring the primary AR, which he always has, or you can even run the shotgun since they're way more viable this season it just adds more depth to these operators giving them an extra option by adding a ballistic shield you can change the playstyle a little bit and do some creative strats on some operators who have been in this game for nine years which you've never been able to do before like another operator that springs to mind for this is sense they've really not found their footing in this game they've been out for over a year at this point and people just don't really like their gadget it's useful if you can pull it off but it's also sort of semi-situational some Sometimes you just don't really see the value in bringing it over a standard smoke grenade. Sense isn't bad, but I'm also not going to call them great. I personally do think that they still have a place in this game, and maybe one day they'll properly find it. But right now, yeah, Sense is in a weird situation. But thinking about this new shield rework and how some operators are now going to have the option as a ballistic shield as a primary, Sense 
could be a very interesting one in this case as well. You can play hard support on Sense, and he could be very useful for a Sight Execute. Sense deploys their gadget to cut off a line of sight visually, and giving your teammates that visual cover, you can then also give them that physical cover by having a primary shield as well. This could work on a lot of other support operators as well, just to give them that little bit of cover, and allow them to play maybe a bit more of a passive role, but again, keeping that option open, if they don't want to do that, they can have the option of another primary weapon, just like if you want to play Sense in a different manner, you can bring the POF9. I think that's very interesting. Like, could you imagine if they gave Maverick a primary shield and he just like makes little holes in the wall and then looks through them with a shield? You know, that's another very interesting strat they could do with this change. You know, I don't think this is going to go to a lot of operators when you look at the attacking list. I honestly can't imagine a lot of operators that would massively benefit from a shield. I do think, you know, Thermite would be an interesting one. A lot of the hard breachers would be an interesting one. Ace maybe as well. Again, can't see people really putting down the AK-12 for that. Thermite though, I do see people maybe running a shield with him. That could be interesting. You know, Ying could be another really cool one for plant, you know, sight take executes as well. Flash the enemies, push in with your shield, go for a plant whilst they're flashed. But again, if you want to play that more aggressive role on Ying, you can push them with a primary weapon. I could also imagine that Capital could be quite an impressive one as well. A very common use of Capital, especially on the map Clubhouse, is clearing out rafters. You flame off anyone playing rafters, you push them out of the position, and you also attempt to get a pick on them. Well, let's say you flame off rafters, clear anyone out there, you push them back to sight, and then you instantly take garage control with a ballistic shield in front of you, and Capital has done that pretty much by himself. The trade-off there being is, yes, you're getting extra protection with a shield, but then you're also substituting the fragging potential of the primary weapon. Uh, the ballistic shield as a primary weapon really hasn't been utilized much in this game, so it does seem like it is finally getting its time to shine, and as you've already seen with a lot of people when they play Fuse, they will play a different playstyle with his primary AR or LMG, or when they have the shield. When you have a shield, you play a lot slower, you play a lot more protected. You take that slower approach, and you play like a shield operator. Because I definitely think a lot of these operators who are maybe in restricted roles, I guess Sense is one of them. Sense does have hard breach as well, so they are a hard breacher, but giving them the option of having another role would add a lot more depth to these operators, and add a lot more depth to shields in general. Because when you think about it, this is long overdue. The fact that Fuse has had a primary ballistic shield, which is outside of his gadget, for nine years, yeah, it is kind of surprising that no other attacker has received this in the entire span of Rainbow Six Siege. So I am very welcome to this change if this is what they are hinting at. It seems like it is. A lot of people seem to have interpreted it that way. You know, Ubisoft don't really beat around the bush with teasers. If they're saying something, they say it for a reason. And I think the fact that he's saying who can be a shield operator is implying that more people can bring a shield. So uh, yeah, really interested to see this change and what happens with the test server for shield reworks. I'll be keeping you guys up to date. So be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. Peace.